If this is your first time visiting my channel, I welcome you to subscribe. I do weekly lifestyle, fashion, and beauty videos. Also, I'm doing Vlogmas for this whole month. Well, actually, up until Christmas Day. I'll leave a link for you down in the description box so you can catch up on days one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> This is the mirror that I already had. I actually picked this up also from Bed Bath & Beyond. And as you can see, it's just a standard lengthwise mirror. It's not that large, so it's actually good for small spaces, small apartments. And if you look here closely, you can see the hooks that go over the door. I'm gonna hang it up on the door so you can see what it looks like hanging. And there we go, it's hanging over the door. And just for reference, this is a standard door length. Um, I'll Google what standard door lengths are just so that you can have an idea. And I'll also leave measurements in the description box about how long this mirror is. Okay, so what I've done here is I grabbed a tape measure and I taped it to the top of the mirror. And it shows that it's, let's see, this mirror stands about, okay, so the mirror is about 50, 51 inches, give or take a few millimeters. And let me show you what else I got for this little DIY. I picked up these two packages of light sticks. So they're by a company called Right Light. They were $19.99 each, and I had a $5 off coupon for each one, so after tax it came out to $32 and change. And each light stick has four LED lights. And these are wireless, so you can either, you have the option to either screw them onto your surface, but um, the way I want to attach it to the mirror, I don't want to screw it onto the doors because as you can see, I have those really beautiful wood doors. So my intention is to use a, a, a glue. I think it's called like E900 glue or E700 glue. I'm going to take it out and show you guys what I plan on using. I'm really hoping that this doesn't turn into an epic fail because when I purchased the lights, I didn't look to see how you insert the batteries because these are wireless like I mentioned, but this is how I intend to stick it to the door. I want to take that crazy glue and put it alongside the mirror this way so that you have one of these sticks on either side of the edges of the mirror and then voila, you have your own Hollywood lighted mirror that you could use for taking selfies or that you could use to see how you look when you're dressed up and you're going to go out or to put on your makeup. So far we're off to a good start. I took this out of the blister packaging and on the back here is where the batteries would go. This is the cover for the back of the batteries. And if you wanted to screw your, um, lights to a surface. It comes with this package plus the instructions on how you would, uh, oh, here you go, under light cabinetry, under light cabinetry. Why am I saying under light cabinetry? <laughs> under light cabinet. Wait a minute. <laughs> LED under cabinet light. Okay. I clearly am on too many muscle relaxers. Anyway, okay, getting back to this. Um, this is actually removable. It's a Velcro, so if you want to stick that on, you can. And I took this off to show you that it's, it's removable. You could save this maybe for something else or just toss it in the garbage. And I think these are some more instructions here regarding... Let's see what this says here. It's upside down. Oh yeah, okay, so how you would, okay, how you would remove this panel right here so that you could insert the screws so that you could connect this to any surface that you wish to have this screwed onto. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but these lights swivel, so that's kind of cool. I like that. And the power button is on this side right here. You know what? Let's insert some batteries and see how this puppy lights up. 
Okay, so these require three AAA batteries that do not come with the packaging, so just keep that in mind if you do decide to do this DIY project. And I'm going to slide the cover on, and let's see how this puppy lights up. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Power button on the side. I think I mentioned that already. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let me turn this off. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, check that out. There's two settings. <gasps> so there's really bright and then there's dim or less bright and then off. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness. And look, it gets even better. Okay. So, oh, depending on how you want to position this. So let's see here. I don't know which I should make my top side. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to have them alternated because the way I want to glue them on, it's going to be either side. Well, that's okay. So one side is going to be the top two stationary that just swivel left and right. And the third one going down, it's going to uh, station. That doesn't even make sense. It's not stationary. It's going to swivel uh, diagonally. So the top two swivel left to right. The third one down is going to swivel diagonal and the bottom one swivels left to right. Then for the other side, when I put on the other side, it'll be the opposite where the top one will swivel left to right. The second one down will swivel diagonally and then the last two will swivel left to right. So let's get this party started. I've taped the measuring tape to the side of the mirror. This way I can have an accurate measurement of how far down I want to go before I glue the lights onto the mirror. And there is cardboard on the back of the mirror, but if not, you could just take like a Sharpie and uh, draw a little dot right there. And I think this is about as far down as I wanna go on the mirror to achieve the look that I'm trying to get. And the last thing you're going to need is this E600 craft glue. I don't remember how much I spent on it because I bought it a while back at Michael's Craft Store, but I do remember that I spent under $10. The next thing I'm going to do is take this paper towel and this perfect glass that I got also from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, are we seeing a little trend here, everybody? Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to squirt some of that onto the paper towel. And then what I want to do is take it so that I can wipe off the edge of the mirror. And I just want to wipe down the side of the mirror just to remove any dust particles or anything like that, just so that when I put on the glue, I have perfect adhesion. The instructions on the back of the glue recommend using just a small amount, a very small like smear. So I'm probably just gonna stay with right on the seam that you see going along here. I'm probably just going to keep the glue toward the back and just smear it on like that. And maybe not all the way up to the top because I don't know, you know, how it'll spread out. I'm hoping that's not too much. Oh my goodness. That's how much I put right there. And let's try this side over here. Oh, did I mention to you all that this is my first attempt at doing a mirror like this? <laughs> so I am your guinea pig once again. Okay, and I think I'll just, well, my intention was to dot along, but now that that's done, let's apply it to the mirror. Okay, so maybe you live in a really small space, like a college dorm, or maybe you have beautiful wood doors like mine and you don't want to ruin them. You also could live in a place where you're not allowed to put up permanent fixtures and you're not trusting of those sticky lights because you never know if you pull them back what kind of damage it might cause to the wall. Well, this is the perfect solution. And if you want, you could take it with you wherever you want to go. It's wireless, it runs on batteries, and it hangs over the door. What more can you ask for? Okay, so I've encountered a tiny little smear, and what I'm going to do is take a paper cloth that's slightly damp and just run it along going up. Oops, got some smeared here, so I'm just going to wipe it again while the glue is still wet. I have it laying flat at the moment. 
So this is turning out a little bit more difficult than I expected to in terms of getting this smear off. Okay. Now I won't be able to show you the end result today, unfortunately, because I do need to wait for this to dry for 24 hours, but I will reveal the end result tomorrow. Thank you for watching guys.